Hello loves and welcome to episode one of our new series called Hidden Gems. The truth is that most of what we see online is highly edited and there is so much that gets left on the cutting room floor. So I hope you enjoy the clips that are a little more raw and I hope you always remember that stars can't shine without darkness and without pressure there would be no diamonds. I love you and enjoy. It is so hot. It's 85 degrees and I told you my AC broke and the maintenance guy came, but they can't fix it. So I just got in my car. I'm waiting for the AC to turn on or freaking blast off. What is on me? Yeah. yeah, so I'm just waiting for the AC to get cool in here and then I'll be back. So... I'll be back. <laughs> That's a little better. <sighs> okay, we're in the car getting ready to go. Um, I've had this since I moved to California, this little dream catcher. <laughs> it's gonna be so crazy when I like finally get a new car and I say goodbye to it. I actually feel like I should keep it. It's definitely sentimental. This kind of came to me as I was getting ready and I wanted to just like share this with you. I'm gonna take this off we'll be here for a second um i want to share this with you and okay okay, okay. i have to say like my apartment building is very good about um maintenance issues which is a plus um, and like they don't really happen that often either, which is another plus. Anyway. <laughs> oh. So, okay, I was thinking about this as I was getting ready and this came up yesterday for me um, in my conversation with Paige, who if you don't know who Paige is, she's one of my friends. She's a stripper business coach and she is actually now my business coach. I'm not a stripper, um, but she coaches non-strippers too, not that it matters, I'm just saying. Um, so she's now my business coach, she's amazing. And I'm like very easily distracted right now, I don't know why, there's this really cute girl walking with a really cute dog. Um, maybe you'll see them when they pass. Anyway, so I was talking to Paige yesterday, we were having a session, and obviously I'm, first of all, I'm someone who's like very, very hard on myself, I don't know exactly where this comes from, but I've always been that way. I always hold myself to like way higher standards than I hold other people and um, yeah, I'm just like really, really, really hard on myself for the most part. Now she's passing by with this cute dog. It's so cute. I'm really hard on myself. I'm always looking um, for ways that I can be a better version of myself and of course like while that's good and it's great to be goal oriented like I really do sometimes just forget to sit back and give myself some credit for coming as far as I have and um, kind of seeing it from like a bird's eye point of view versus always being in my head I'm always in my head I'm always in my head can anyone relate so just like yesterday we were on the call and I was like I can't even remember what exactly we were talking about, but obviously I was probably talking about like ways that I wanted to improve um, and just like beating myself up a little bit as I do too much. And she was like, well, like, why don't you sit back and like think of all the ways that you are successful for a second? And I was like, okay, I can do that. Um, so I sat there and let it sink in. And like, this happens to me like here and there, like I'll sit and be like, okay, let me look at my life from like an outsider's perspective or from me um, a few years ago too. Because a few years ago, I didn't have everything that I um, have now that I've worked for and I was just at like a very different place in my life, of course. Which, by the way, you'll see this in footage that I'm editing um, for Paige, but during her retreat, at the end of her retreat, which was so, this guy almost hit me. <laughs> Jeez. Um, so at the end of the retreat, which was so magical, she did so amazing. Um, 
it was just a great experience and I'm doing some editing work for her because I filmed the whole thing. So I interviewed her like at the end of the retreat and it had been an amazing weekend, a magical weekend. She did so good, she killed it and she had been really nervous beforehand. And I said, what would you tell yourself two years ago um, in this moment? Like what would you tell that version of yourself? And she just started bawling um, right away. Sitting in this moment with such a successful weekend behind you, <laughs> if you could talk to yourself maybe two years ago, what would you tell her? <laughs> I don't know if I should hug you or keep it rolling. <laughs> Fucking did it, girl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you fucking did it, dude. <laughs> like, but if I could talk to myself two years ago, I would like give her such a big hug and let her know that like what she's going through is for a purpose and you are a fucking born leader and your purpose here is to serve and to heal other women and this weekend like solidified that for me I am so fucking proud of myself <laughs> and like I would tell her like whatever you want to do you're doing the right thing. Like, keep fucking going. You know exactly what you're doing. And if you if you lead with your heart and you lead with being vulnerable and being authentic and sharing your story. Two years ago, I wasn't even out of the stripper closet. It happened so quick. And that's so inspiring to other people. Yeah, like that opened everything. It was the most emotional like moment like every time I think about it or see it I cry because I think like it's so relatable like sometimes you just feel like you're in the trenches and you're working so hard for your dream and you just like you know it's there but it hasn't necessarily shown up yet and like every day like you make the choice to show up for yourself for your higher self for your dreams for your dream life and it's just so relatable and to see someone like conquer that and um, have the success that she has is just so moving and so touching. So anyway, I digress talking about Paige, but um, I kind of had to do that for myself for a second is sit back and think like, wow, a couple years ago, like, or let's take it back even four years ago before I even moved to California. And if you don't know, I grew up in New York um, and I had a very difficult adolescence. My childhood was lovely, but my adolescence was difficult and um, I struggled with addiction, I struggled with toxic relationships, and I was just in a horrible place um, in my early 20s. Start. I was in a horrible place. My, my teens and my 20s were hard for me. Um, and I knew I had to move across the country. I knew if I stayed there, I would die, and I needed to go. So if I could look back on that version of myself four years ago, you know, and look at what I have now. I live in a beautiful apartment. Um, when I was on that call with Paige, I looked around and I was like, I'm surrounded by these beautiful flowers that I got for my 30th birthday. I had a beautiful birthday with like friends that are just literal angels, like the sweetest friends ever. And again, if you don't know, like I've struggled with very toxic friendships too, which has been difficult for me, um, trusting friends, trusting women. And I'm surrounded by cr these beautiful big crystals, like working on my brand every single day and getting connect to connect with people like you um, that I connect with through Pretty Crystals. Like what a fucking dream and I say this because I just like sometimes you lose sight of that so 
I don't want to ramble on for too long because I feel like I've already talked for a million years, but I want you to, as you watch this video, two things. First of all, I want to remind you that you have to take everything on social media with a grain of salt of course I'm sure you hear that all the time but it's so true like I put my I guess best foot forward on social media if you will especially when it comes to like pretty crystals at my business and I show you the glamorous side and the fun stuff and we go crystal shopping uh, but that is also edited of course and a lot of the times you don't see like how fucking tired I am and how um, on packaging days like I literally am so exhausted like I can barely move sometimes because it's so much work and I used to pull all-nighters pretty often I used to have horrible anxiety um, with crystal packages going out just like so nervous about things breaking like there's just a lot that goes on behind the scenes and a lot of work and a lot of things that are not glamorous by any means so I just want you to take that with a grain of salt um, when you do see people on social media that you are um, impressed by or inspired by um, same thing with Paige and I know she wouldn't mind me saying this because she talks about it too like she uh, was really scared before the retreat going into it she was doubting herself and she also was dealing with a lot of like really painful stomach issues and stuff so like there's just a lot going on behind the scenes that you never know so like sometimes that helps me like realize like oh we're all in the same boat here like we're all human we're all struggling we're all um, working hard uh, for our dreams and our goals so that take everything on social media with a grain of salt and then secondly I just like am speaking to whoever um, is you know chasing their dreams and doing things that scare them um, in order to achieve that dream life of theirs I just want to remind you that it is possible and if it were me watching me right now a few years ago even two years ago I'd be like what this is your job like this is what you do like this is what you created like I would be so proud of myself and so um happy and like life is still really hard sometimes and I just have to sit back and remind myself like you created your dream life essentially and you're still going I still have a long ways to go like I, this is just the beginning this is just the freaking beginning but um, just as you're watching this whether um, you just are watching my videos to relax and chill out and escape from whatever's going on in your life or if you're inspired and maybe you want to start a crystal shop of your own or an online shop or some sort of venture whatever it is that's like your dream life whatever that looks like because it looks like differently for all of us but um whatever is in alignment with your higher self and your dream life just watch i hope you watch my videos and realize that like you can do it and it's not always going to be easy but like you can and when you get there you're going to be in the same position of stopping yourself and looking around and being like holy shit like i really did it and we're still going and it's cool and fuck yeah <laughs> like um so yeah i hope that makes sense I've been talking for quite a bit, but that was just on my mind, and um, I hope uh, you sit back and enjoy the video with those things in mind, and know that um, if you can dream it, you can do it. Um, that's that. I'm going to do a little uh, clip for my Instagram. This is how I set up my camera, by the way, if you're... <laughs> As I'm sitting next to the trash cans. Uh, see, it's not all glamorous, people. <laughs> I love that. Um, so this is how I do my Instagram videos when I'm in the car. Usually I like doing it in the car because I'm on my way somewhere. Uh, it's comfortable and the lighting is really good as well, usually from the sun. So, um, yeah, that's how I film for the gram. I know you can't really see it that well, but... So I'm going to do a little video um, really quick, and then we'll hit the road. Hey. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this style of video. Please let me know what you think. That would be amazing. Make sure you're following on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things. I love you so, so much, and I will see you in my next video.